in our previous tutorial, we were able to create the base template and the home page, uh, as you can see on the screen. And uh, in the next, in this tutorial rather, we are going to look at, uh, we are going to create the other base uh, templates, uh, not base templates, but the other templates, uh, which include, uh, we'll be having the about page. Uh, we will also add a contact page and we will also add the blog page. Okay, so we'll still repeat the same procedure uh, in which we were using in the previous uh, steps. So we are going to go into our templates folder and inside the website uh, directory, inside the templates folder, we are going to create a new HTML file. And uh, this file, we are going to call it about uh, .html. And I'll proceed uh, also into adding the others. Another one which we will call uh, blog. Uh, in this case, I will add uh, blog. Uh, blog. Let me just call it the blog. Uh, .html. And then we will also add the contact page will be contact.html. So one thing that uh, you will notice, uh, if your project is running, you can just uh, go to the folder and you can check the the title of the folder and you'll know uh, the title of the bar and you'll notice that it is written document. This is because if you go into the base template, we have these uh, inside the title, we have the title document. And uh, we do not want this to be the case. So what I will do is that I will I will make use of uh, what you call the Django template tags. And inside this base template, I'm going to replace the name document with uh, these template tags. And I'll call it block uh, title. Then I will. I should also end this. Whenever you I, I begin a block, you should also end and ensure that you end the block. So I'll end the block, and inside it, I'll just call it my website. So let's let's see if it will pick. Yeah. So you'll notice that it is titled my website. However, this now is on the best template. So anywhere I create, everywhere. Where I inherit the these uh, the base like in the home folder where I've inherited the base HTML, it will also be titled my website. However, I would want to give each page its own title, and uh, the way to do that, you can override the title uh, tag uh, that is set in the base template, and we will just create a new. Uh, title HTML title tags, and then inside it we will still add block title, and we should ensure that we close the block using end block, and then inside it we are going to add uh, the name of the page, and then we will uh, we can either add a dash or uh, uh, these. Uh, hyphen, uh, not hyphen, but the standing dash. I don't know how it's forgotten how it's called. So we will call it. We will inside the tags. We will add block dot super. So what it does is that it takes the title for the base HTML, which is my website, uh, which is now this, uh, and then the title of the page will be home. So let's just save and refresh and see what will happen. So you see, we have this home page titled Home, my website. So this is just uh, one of the uses of the block uh, templates and also overriding what you call the overriding the, temp, uh, the uh, base template. So I'm going to share the link in the description uh, for if you want to read more about the Django title tags. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this information and paste it in the about page. I'll just replace this and uh, replace it with about. 
and then maybe I can just add about and leave it as that. And then I will also do the same for the blog. I will add this as blog. I can also add the same here. And then for the contact, I'll also do the same. Also create contact. Now remember that we have just created the template. So we need the views and the URL configurations as we did in the previous video. So the next step will be going into the views and we will uh, repeat the same procedure that we did with this one. And I will just paste and then proceed. So a little bit of formatting here. Yeah, so we have the home page view. So we will need an about page view. And notice the way I'm putting them in camel case, uh, which is in respect to the pair page standards for Python in naming of our classes and then we have the blog page view although for this one we are going to work on it uh, we are going to customize it when we are going to be creating our blog and then we have the contact page and for this blog page view i'm going to kind of duplicate it and uh, i'm going to call it this home page I'm call it blog page view for now and then this one I'll also call it blog article page view and for this one I will be in Harry I will be subclassing something else uh, but we will come into we'll come to this so let me just comment it out for now and uh, allow me to, every, whenever you create a class, you need to add two lines uh, on top of, uh, the, they need to be, they need to be at least two lines from the previous code. That's why we are seeing an, uh, lines uh, showing uh, warnings, the lines that indicate that they are warnings. So for the about page, we will refer, point it to the about.html. For the blog, we refer to it to the blog.html. And for this other one, which is a contract, we are going to point it to the contract.html. So the next step now is uh, customizing our URL configuration to point it to the, those, all those other views. So I'll just add this about page view, we have the contact page view, and then we have the blog page view. So we'll also I'll also duplicate this and now now for these others we are going to change the path. I'll also add these commas because this is a list. Okay, so we have this about page view, which will be our first candidate. And for the name, we just call it about. And for the for this other one, it's uh, we're going to point it's going to be the contact page view, and the name that you are going to give it will be contact. And the final one is the blog page view that uh, we are just going to call it the blog. So for the path now for these other ones we need to add a uh, path, and we will. Let's call it uh, about. And for the next one, we will call it uh, contact. For this other one, we will call it blog. And notice the way that I'm adding the tailing slash. So I'm just going to save that. And we are going to go into our, our page here. And since I've created those pages, I already know that they're, they're with respect to this URL, 
for example, if we try accessing about, so you can see we are able to access it. How do I know? It's because I can see this uh, text that is changing. And then if I add the blog, you see that you can be able to visualize, uh, to view the blog page. And the final one, I believe, which is a contract. We are also able to view, okay, for the contract seems not to be changing. Let's go back to our URL. So contact reference is contact page view. So let's go back to our view and ensure that it is referring to the contract.html. Contact page view, page. Yeah, so I'll go back to the contact page and it's because I did not change this. Yeah, so let's refresh and see. Yeah, so we have this contact page. And you'll notice the way the pages are changing. So the blog, we have blog and this line and then the title of the website, about and the title of the uh, website and then home title of the website. So the next step will be customizing the nav navigation bar. And in the navigation bar, we are going to check, we're going to go back to our base uh, HTML uh, base page. And for this, I'll, I'm going to focus on the header where we have the navigation, the, this navigation uh, class. And I'm going to, I can also change this. Uh, this is uh, what you call the container and container fluid in Bootstrap. I won't dive into the details, but uh, you'll notice that one thing I've done, I've removed the container fluid. So it's only container. Notice what happens when I refresh the page. Uh, these titles have have sort of like moved towards the center. And if I use my inspect element, uh, let me close that. You will notice that uh, in the body section and in the header section, this is what we have. So this is a kind of the change that we have made. And if we now for this one, uh, I'll just edit. I do not want the text to be navbar. I want it to probably reflect the name of the website, which is my website. And I'll just type my website. And then the reference, I will want it to refer to home. So we are going to add uh, URL tags inside here. And this URL is going to point to uh, home. And uh, I'll have saved it. And then I'll go back to my browser. And I can be able to see if I can be able to. Yeah, you can see the text has, uh, the text has cleared. And then if I click on it, it goes into home. Uh, if I try to go into the another page like contact page, it is what we have. And if I click this, it goes back to the home page. So one thing that you need to notice is that I've I've added home only, and this is because it's it. Uh, whenever I click here, it from the template it uh, goes into the uh, the URL, and then it looks it uh, kind of looks for the reference which is home, and then. It uh, checks the view, and that view is a homepage view, which is pointing to the template. So this is a kind of a model view temp uh, model view template, but we have not looked at the model. So so far we have worked with the templates and the views. And uh, let's go back to our code uh, our base template. Now the next thing we are going to add is we are going to uh, for the home, uh, I think I can copy and paste this. And then I the name is OK. And then I can add uh, maybe about. And then I'll copy and just paste this. And then inside here, I'll put about because that's the name that refers to our about page. And then we have 
the blog and then I will similarly do the same I'll add blog and then we have a drop down here so for this drop down I'm not sure what to add let me just refresh and yeah, you notice they are change, the changes have been affected and whenever I click on these pages we can navigate from one page onto another so for this drop down I'm considering adding probably adding an account uh, calling it account and uh, we'll see what we'll add or we'll, uh, other actions that we will add there probably we can add a login i'm not sure if that is the correct spelling for the login and then we'll also add a uh, sign up and uh, uh, click this we have login sign up and then something else so yeah for this one we'll see what we'll think of what we'll add there i'll just add a comment edit out so whenever you refresh this page you're going to see the login and the sign up so we are going to look at into this when we are working we're probably working on the account section so this summarizes the our tutorial we have been able to customize the other three templates which is about blog and I've forgotten to add contact, so allow me just to add it briefly. So we have our contact page. So I'll just replace these and point it to contact, and then it says these are lost point to contact. So whenever I, ref I refresh, now we have also an additional page which is contact. We have blog and we have about page about blog contact so we've been able to add the three additional templates which is about blog and contact and we've also been able to customize the title uh the title tag so that every page reflects the name of the of the a page the actual page that we have uh, maybe one thing we can additional thing that we can do or one final thing that you can do we can try and save our changes. Uh, we can just do a git status and see what has changed. And we have all these files that I think some of them we changed them in our previous uh, in our previous uh, tutorial. So we have uh, these templates that we created. We have the URS that we have customized, and uh, we're just going to do a git add all. Then we are going to do a commit message and we can uh, probably put a message there uh, we won't say completed but added uh, be configured additional templates and their URLs. Okay. And then you can just push to GitHub. So if we can go into GitHub, see what we have. Yeah, so we've configured additional template URLs. And uh, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Uh, if you like these videos, please uh, share, uh, click like and subscribe, and uh, don't forget to click the bell icon for more additional, when I create more content, you can receive a notification. And uh, in, the next, uh, in the next tutorial, probably we'll look at uh, uh, maybe customizing our homepage further and then probably adding the body and the footer and i think we can do the rest uh, also the rest uh, maybe in the about page and also 
uh, maybe in the contact page as well. So this brings us to the end of our tutorial. Um, thank you for watching.